23. And Ann, I'm just going to throw that question out there for you. Make yes, sure he gets you. Um, did you get your money last year? Did you get your three thousand dollars for the green head no, water traps? No, nope. the warrant article failed because it was said that it was uh, double dipping, which it wasn't. But um, that's all right because we are. I put that in originally to the budget that I gave the Board of Selectmen and then took the $3,000 out, so the budget is flat now. Uh, we had money left over this year and we managed to have the greenhead traps built with that money. Right. Excellent. Mm. Okay. So the budget right. is flat. It's the 103000 yes. All right, Mike. Okay. You want to move the 103, Mike? Yep. I'll second. All right. Want to talk to us? <laughs> <laughs> you did, but it's flat, like are you good yeah. with the flat? I am good with the flat. This will be the last year of the three-year contract, which the contractor had kept flat for the three years, the mm -hmm. whole three years. I don't know what's going to happen after. After uh, this year? That's okay. When will you start to send that out to bid, before or after the that season? Be, oh, that won't be until um, August, August, September of 2015. Where, where do you put these traps in? Where do the greenhead flat traps go? In the marsh. marsh. In the marsh. Yeah. <laughs> those are those little houses you see sticking yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the black <laughs> boxes. They're, They're not, not board houses. <laughs> I do have a question <laughs> about the house. budget, if we can get back to that real quick. Well, there huh? are bird houses out like in the marsh, thanks yeah. to one of our <laughs> residents um, Dave Weber but uh, these are much bigger I see the big, big yeah. marks well that's what they are so they fly up in there and they can't get out right? that's correct yeah. they're stupid to go back <laughs> <laughs> okay. they fly up in there in their home okay. Jerry all right so flat is flat but I want to give everybody the opportunity to at least ask Ann any questions about it because it's important an important element when we start talking about mosquitoes. So, by turn, Joe, I'm going to start here. I'm all set. Jerry, I have no you're good. I have no further questions. Sonny. I've got one question. Uh, the mosquito, I mean, the greenhead traps, it might be a project for woodworking <coughs> in high school? We have had volunteers build traps in the past. It's tough to get those people now. And um, some of the traps were not built as yeah. closely, you know, to the. Uh, no, I was suggesting a high school so. project in woodworking, an ongoing project. Mm -hmm. that could actually install them too. Well, the installing them out in the marsh is mm -hmm. that gets a little tricky. Yeah. Well, does that the liability is the the contractor. Okay does that and they don't charge us very much for it but when they install them they have to add spikes yeah, yeah. to the legs that are on there yeah. so that they get put well, down so those spikes well. come off every fall when they bring them in and so you know it's it's yeah. and they're cumbersome yeah there would yeah. probably be I a liability. I have a question on mosquito control. Does the contractor look at the weather before he does it or does he spray and then it rains? What? Oh yes, it's all weather dependent. They can't spray if it's too windy, they can't spray if it's too cold, and of course they can't spray if it's raining. And you also have to have a reason to spray, so there have to be enough mosquitoes in the area to justify it. That's um, governed by the Department of Agriculture. What do you do, take a sample of the water and count the eggs or whatever? Or? Well that's for the larva siding. Yeah. They go down and they, and they uh, scoop some, of the some water larva and see how much larva is there, gotcha. and then if there is enough larva, then they larva side. I got gotcha. you. We don't see the machine coming around the neighborhoods anymore. It seems blowing oh, yes. smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, it's much quieter. It's out. much quieter. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. Jerry, we Stop can't keep jumping back. Every other person. We're going to Michael. We took Michael's turn. I'm going to try to cut Jerry off at the pass with the smoke. Yeah. Uh, in the default budget on page uh, OBS 13, you've still got the 106 rather than the 103. Can I ask what's happening with that? It should have been 103. It's 103. I know. Yeah. I'm asking our financial lady, please. On OBS 13. 
I'm guessing that I must have uh, forgot to adjust that line because she adjusted it after we had already started to work on this, so we can correct that. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I was just curious. That's her first mistake. That wasn't your fault, though. We'll blame it on the lady over yes. in the corner. <laughs> thank you. That's all I have, Madam Chairman. Good observation, Michael. Thank you. Brian? Um, no, I think you could do a great job. The only other suggestion I would have is, um, and I know they've helped in the past, is the Boy Scouts. But that's for another year. Thank you. No questions. No questions. Thank you, Ann. You're welcome. I wasn't bitten, and I thank you for that, and I have no questions. <laughs> well, I'm glad you weren't bitten. <laughs> Great job. No questions. Thanks, Bob. No questions, Ann. <laughs> All set. Thank you. No questions. Thank you. Call. Thank you. Okay. You can call for the vote. All those in favor of 103,000? Unanimous. Yes. Unanimous. Wow. And thank you very much for job well done. Thank you, Ann. And I do have thank one you question all. for you off the record. Did we have less pools of water around town this last summer than normally? About the same? Yeah, about the same. Thank you.